Sukui Nagi is the scooping throw, and in Kodokan Judo, there are two very distinct and different ways of applying this technique. In this video, we're going to take a look at these two different ways. Standard grip. Notice he's kind of leading sugar footing here with his right foot. Okay, kind of leading with that foot, sugar foot. Now what Derek's going to do, he's going to come and he's going to spin my... Uh, let me do sugar roast too. So, so watch what Derek will replicate this. From here, he's going to spin behind him. And when he comes behind him, as he steps behind, he's going to reach under like this, scoop, grab the legs. Now you can either grab the pants, but like when we're doing this in Sambo, there are no pants to grab. So we're going to grab the legs. Okay, but I'm scooping. I'm not bending over this way. That's really, don't want to do that. I want to be grabbing this way. So what Derek's going to do, and he's going to throw it from here. And it, really, I always learned it. This is your kind of your hinge on his lapel. And it helps. That's the side of, that's the side I'll probably roll to. Okay, so I've got him here. Okay, I want to kind of lean. I just kind of step back here as I do this. See like this, as I step back, I shoot. And as I shoot, come across and squat very low, like you're sitting in a chair. Okay, <laughs> grab. And now... You can embellish it any way out. The basic thing is to pick him up and turn into him and throw him. Or you can thigh sweep him, whatever you want. However you want to add to it, you can. But you're probably going to have to go on him, okay? So let's look at here. So here it comes right. He spins about to the outside. Now he reaches and squats at the same time. So he squatted behind him. His butt's, his, Derek's butt is lower than Eric's butt. He's like he's sitting in a chair, okay? All right, and he's just going to scoop him up and toss him. There we go. Is, uh, we're going to do this as a counter throw in this particular case. So, Eric, you're going to be coming in with, say, a, a, a koshi room or something around the neck. And Derek is going to be stopping the throw. And he just kind of stops it and he kind of hip checks or he uses a block. But look, look at the left hand scoops through the middle and he grabs right there at the upper thigh. Now, look at it. The right hand is still holding on the lapel. Now, look at Eric's or Derek's head. Right, right in the shoulder of Eric. See that? Okay. Now what he's going to do, he's going to scoop him up. He's going to step in and put his hip in front and throw him right over. He's going to wheel him over with his hands. That's why it's called Te Garuma. And you're scooping him up and throwing him. That's why it's also called Sukui Nagi. Yeah. Can you do a, a couple here for sure. us? He comes in. You've got to stop it first. So that's the number one thing. Uh, you might use it with... with you might also use the, like the flow of his body action, but generally you have to stop the action. Okay, so when he comes in, you're just going to stop it, kind of a hip block there. And, and as you do that, lower your level and look with the left hand, grab through the middle and trap it. The right hand is controlling the lapel, as you see, and, and Derek's head is right on Eric's right shoulder. And he's going to use that to lift Eric up, step in front, and throw him over his hip. Actually, wheel him over with his hands on his legs. Okay. So he's kind of setting on your hip when you lift him up. You're in the crouch. I like to think of him like a bag of groceries. So you suck him in tight to your hips and then just try and get your hips to go out and your back to straight. So if you focus on that part, your hips bump him up enough to pull him onto the hip as you step. And then he's kind of resting on your hip. Your other foot comes forward and you just wheel him over your hip. Show us that. So he comes in. Okay. Down, hips in. Then he comes up onto the hip with one step. Other step. Wheel him over the hip. 